Big Thumb Half at the Peter Chell. Sunday morning news. Sunday morning, October 26, 2014. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here to time now. It is... Eight thirty in the morning. I'm in and out. Your morning news at nine. Zero and out. Top story at eight thirty a.m. Is a quarantine nurse last shot after she tests negative for Ebola. Marysville School District security checks cars lined up along Water Eight Street, North East Rabbit at Marysville Pilchuck High School to pick up students belonging. Does try reels from Washington State school shooting. Thirteen European banks fall short of DCB stress test. In Kiev, war really your greatest voted on Sunday the left that is likely to assault a pro-Western parliament and strengthen President Petro Poroshenko's mandate to end separate conflict in the East, but couldn't feel attention to Russia. That's that physical giant. Battery can see Rose relief pictures of Clinton 11 4 victory and level of World Series at 2 to 2 apiece in game. Final be Sunday. The Department of Transportation will detect the review of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which has been criticized for the that the Takata Airbag recall this past week as well as other recalls this year, as State Administration Paul said. Iraqi government forces retook four villages on Sunday near a mountain ridge overlooking Islamic State supply lines, security officials said in a campaign which has struggled to make advances against the Sunni Islamist insurgents. United States Marine LCPL, three hundred from Bravo Company on the first battalion and the second Marine followed with a good battle in southern Afghanistan. As U.S. Marines, U.K. fishing and military operations in Afghanistan. Borders in Indonesia, where the uprising in 2011 triggered the Arab Spring ahead of the polls today. The country's tough economy, the high employment, is a dominant issue. From the left, players, Sir County Sheriff's Deputy Michael David Davis Jr. was killed in the line of duty exactly 26 years ago after his father, Riverside County Sheriff's Deputy Michael David Davis, died in a helicopter crash. How is this is supposed to be a little scary, but you are worried about your kids receiving poison candy from strangers and stuff and never actually dominated the U.S. Yeah, well, probably a word about the wrong thing. Republican candidates are hammering and Democratic on national security issues looking at the gate and edge head of an election day. A 40 say five firefighters are injured after bar to launch extremely hot fires in the Gulf, a storage facility in the Venice, California. Played at Stair Kitchen at Monday 70 and Kate Call and Karen Archer talk outside the courthouse after a federal appeals court or, or arguments at a Utah state law forbidden same sex marriage in Denver. After disappointing third quarter results that dim expectation for fourth quarter profits despite the holiday season, shirts of Amazon stock slammed as Bezos shine fades. U.S. stock scores with solid gains party, leading to the S&P 500 with its launching weekly events of the year. The Federal Communications Commission has postponed an auction that would allow television broadcasters to sell a portion of their spectrum to wireless carriers through the onboard legal issues surrounding the auction. Ram is bringing to the great outdoors in the Special League Equipment Manufacturers Association showed Las Vegas next month as Ram 2500 outdoors minute as a power wagon pickup concept that's visited the mobile quartermaster for some deep woods gear. Iggy Azalea appeared on Saturday Night Live last night alongside Rita Orr and M.O.S. Reported by Concert Chris and Sad the Rapper's first performer was a medley of hit at singles Fed State Black Widow with a lighter fate or of the hook. Things were a little easier to control in 1989 and heels and a stellar reviews for her new 80s and fuse pop album in 1989. Tom Smith, Taylor Swift, and her label. Big Machine Records spent much of the Friday waging a modern war over widespread leaks and trucks in a variety. The story isn't over. Jesse Pinkman himself is now getting involved in this trying to write through all the breaking bad figures being removed from Toys R Us due to charge. A quarter report from Space. Elm Eustace, a vice president of knowledge of Google, successfully completed a skydive from the start of the year on Friday. A combine in the space spells a rotten egg, curse, urine, formalized, bitter almonds, alcohol, vinegar, and a hit of sweet efforts. Rich scientists have found. SpaceX is dragging us back on Earth and splashing on an impressive ocean about 300 miles west of Baja California on Sunday, Saturday, but what exactly did it bring home? Jack Megalodon and Chucks used to live in oceans and researchers were unsure about whether these 60 foot long creatures of giants still live in water, but no, a study told much more than these creatures. New York Ebola patient Craig Spencer has gastrointestinal symptoms. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations led to the Guinea early Sunday in the first leg of a trip to Ebola stricken West Africa. High profile visit aimed at driving a lot more international support for combating the deadly virus. The number of cases in Ebola outbreak was exceeded 10,000 with 4,922 deaths. 
the World Health Organization says it in its latest report. Okay, let's take a look at New England Inns Alerts, West Greenwich, Rhode Island, 95 stop on exit 6A, roll over an ice cream lane, near. Take a look at Spots News here, the college football race is losing your top four now, that old miss is lost, dear. The 3 4 Houston, Texas lost three consecutive games at the start of this season, three and one fans are restless and the players are desperate for the win. NASCAR will waste at Marksville and then shall pay tribute to a couple of fall Canadian soldiers that are recorded in the pregame ceremony in Ottawa, Montreal, to Toronto, while Sidney Crosby and Joe Warner can then lead the Pittsburgh Penguins with Washington Capitals respectively to a big victory. Zero. And last night, the Boston Bruins defeated the Toronto Maple Leafs 4 to 1. Knowing the Revolution played in the Toronto 1 0 at Gillette Stadium last night. Today, the New England Patriots will be at Gillette Tingen on the Chicago Bears. Game time, 1 o'clock in Foxborough. Here. Peter, General News Time is now 8 36. Here, it's 24 minutes to 9 o'clock in the morning time. Here, and let's take a look at a traffic situation here. <coughs> on this Sunday morning, and it's Bill standing on with byways here of New England, here, and we got a little accident here on 95 and Northbound side here, Route 140 in Bettsfield here. In the Bettsfield Foxborough section of 95 near Route 140, so trust some extra time, but otherwise, you are good to go here on this. Sunday morning here, and let's take a look at our current conditions around the region as we take a look at the weather picture here. <coughs> 54 degrees on temperature wave first class, humidity 57%, wind speed west by 10 miles per barometer, 29.49 inches on barometer, 2.539 degrees, visibly 10 miles, wind chill about 51 degrees. Oh. Current conditions, we have to be we have a 53 degree temperature reading for Boston, 54 for Boston Harbor, 51 for Pittsburgh, 49 Bedford, 52 in Beverly, 51 in Gloucester, 50 in Haverhill. 47 Worcester, 48 Sturbridge, 51 in Webster and Milford, and in Norwood, 54 in Taunton and Plymouth, and Parmesan and Falmouth, 53 in New Bedford, 51 in Chatham, 53 in Marfords Vineyard, 52 in Nantucket, 58 in Cape Cod Bay, 54 in Lock Island, 49 in Westley, 50 out of Smithfield, it's 55 out of New York City, 54 in Nislip, 54 in Montauk, 55 in Lock Island, 52 in Bridgeport, 45 in Waven, and in Waterbury, and Meriden, it's 49 in Denbury, 47 in Dartford, and Winslow, 49 in North Springfield, and in that fall, 42 in Everest, 50 in Greenfield, 44 in North Arabs, 45 in Pittsfield, it's 49 in Albany, New York, 40 in Bayton and Brooklyn, Vermont, 45 in Maryland, Vermont, it's 51 out in National Hampshire, 46 in Manchester, New Hampshire, it's 40 in Concord, Hampshire, 40 in Lake County, and Parkman, New Hampshire, 47 up in Park, Maine, here. <coughs> Home. Take a look at the map situation here around the country. Here at a cold front stretching up in the Southern California, up in the Nevada, up in the Utah, Western Wyoming, and up in the Montana, and a station front from Southern Saskatchewan, Dave, Eastern Montana, down for the Dakotas, down for Nebraska, Kansas, and a cold front from Southern Missouri, down for Kentucky, down for Ohio Valley, and down for Central Pennsylvania, down for up in upstate New York, up in New Hampshire, here in Northern New England, there, and a warm front down for Maine, and out to sea, and a pink front up in the Quebec, here. And we got a Cuban. Where at? Cold front from Eastern Cuba to not to the Caribbean here. And a front of from Western Kansas down from Western Oklahoma to down from Texas with a low pressure in Western Kansas. And we've got a front of from Eastern Washington State up to Western Alberta here. And we got high pressure to Northwestern California, Southwestern Colorado, Southeastern Texas, Western Wisconsin. Here we got low pressure in Western Kansas, Southeastern Montana, Southern Nevada, and Norman, New Hampshire here, and we got 47 degrees on temperature out of Detroit and Pittsburgh. It's 61 in Washington, D.C. 58 out in Atlanta, Georgia. 6 out out in Miami, Florida. 63 out of Brownsville, Texas. 65 in Dallas, Texas. 59 out of Kansas City. 55 in Omaha, Nebraska. 43 in Chicago. 40. Now 37 degrees in Minneapolis, St. Paul. 58 out in Great Falls, Montana. 50 out in Seattle. 61 in San Francisco. 62 in Los Angeles. 71 out of Las Vegas. 59 out in Salt Lake City, Utah, Safe Ford, Phoenix, 55 in the Denver, and Albuquerque, New Mexico. Here. And take a look at our radar situation here, and it shows some spotty light rain showers, moderate beds rain around 
Shenekdi and I am sitting in upstate New York, a lot of Ray Charles about the Corbett, stuff of Albany, and it stretched it out for the Berkshires, Western Pittsfield, up at the Great Berry to here. And we're saying she's Ray Charles by North Western portions of North Adams, and stretched it out Western Vermont from the Route 7 quarter from Bennington all the way down to St. Albans here. And stretched it out by the people we're seeing some spotty bands of sleet and snow showers around Vermont, uh, Western Vermont, and up in the upstate New York here around below, around Augensburg, and around Utica. And we're seeing some rain showers by the Syracuse area and Eastern Rochester here. <sighs> and we're seeing some rain showers by the Northwestern Maine and up to Southern Quebec and the Northeastern portions of all Ontario. A lot of rain showers from East Central Ontario stretching up to Western portions of Quebec and up to Northern Ontario. A lot of rain showers by the Central portions of New Brunswick and up to Eastern Quebec with some snow showers mixed with the Eastern Quebec. A lot of rain showers from Western Nova Scotia switching off the New England coast side. A lot of rain showers with southwest, southeastern portions of Maine between Augusta and Portland and mid coast Maine. Here, and we're taking a look at a little rain showers and a few fleet of snow showers. While Northern Nevada switching out for southwest and Idaho. A lot of rain showers with northeastern Utah. A lot of rain showers and snow showers from western Wyoming. North central portions of Montana, and a lot of rain showers, eastern portions of Montana. And a lot of rain showers, and sleet of snow showers, and western portions of Montana, and northeastern portions of Idaho. A lot of rain showers, and sleet of snow showers, and northern Idaho, up in the northeastern. Washington State, eastern British Columbia, and the western Alberta, and a lot of rain, sleet of snow showers, from northwestern portions of California, stretching up to western Oregon, and Washington, and the southwestern portions of British Columbia here. Smutty snow showers, and northwestern portions of Saskatchewan, rain showers in several portions of Saskatchewan, eastern portions of Saskatchewan, and the western portions of Manitoba. And take a look at our rate satellite loop, and it shows a lot of clouds coming from New England and New York State, and up to Ontario, and up to Quebec, and up to Atlantic Canada. A lot of clouds from Southern Utah, and up to Nevada, a lot of clouds from Eastern Colorado, and up to Western. Nebraska up in the Dakotas and down for Western Ma. Minnesota, Atlanta class for Western Fire Bad for Montana, down for Idaho, down for Oregon, Washington State, down for British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and out of western portions of Ontario. Here. Final class from seven portions of Southern California. Here. <coughs> okay, let's take a look at Let's take a look at total weather outlook here. A small low pressure system, the remnants of tropical pressure that is will produce a little bit of thunderstorm activity over the northwestern Caribbean Sea at about midway between Jamaica and Honduras. Wind development is not expected for the next day or two while the disturbance interacts with a cold front after that time some slow development could occur with while a low drift somewhere and then westward near the coast of the Northern Honduras. Formation chance for us, low ten percent formation chance five days, low twenty percent. Disturbance number one, a 30% chance of cyclone formation for ads. A broad area of low pressure centered a few hundred miles south of the Gulf of Two Hour Protect is producing some disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity and development conditions are forecast to become increasingly conductive for development in a tropical cyclone formation is locking later this week while the system drifts toward the west northwest formation chest fires. Medium about 30% of formation chest fire days. High 8%. Um And the latest on Anna here, it's a tropical storm Anna. And the long clock, several location, 40.1 in the north, 153.0 to the west. Max sustained winds, 65 miles per boat, north for east, about 43 miles per And it's going to become an extra tropical storm in the rain now, as it's going to be. Making a turn in the northeast and curving around and then making landfalls somewhere around west central British Columbia around late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning. There's a tropical depression here. And <clears throat> as and it transition to an extra tropical low over the North Pacific, and there are no close watch of water's effect at 11 p.m. Water time down at UTC, the center of tropical storm, and it was located here. Not to 4.1 in the north, not to 133.0 to the west, and that is moving toward the north face through 43 miles per hour, 6,000 kilometers hour. This is the general motion that is expected to continue on Sunday. 
Thousand degrees of bar motion and eternity needs to the podcast. Send it out on Monday as an extra tropical edit interacts with another deep load to the West. Matt the same winds are six by boss, but what are we kidding off our higher guests at all? Really? Slight weakness forecast during the next 48 hours. And I expect it to become a stronger extra tropical low on Sunday. Tropical so force winds extend upwards up to 240 miles, 390 counts from the center. And as may be the central pressure, 99 millibars at 29.21 inches. Here. <clears throat> huh. Huh. As we're going to take a look at our forecast discussion around the country here, unsettled weather continues for the Pacific Northwest. Very warm temperatures over the southern United States and relatively quiet weather patterns. The Pacific Northwest should expect a multiple round of precipitation over the next few days on short foot and a Pacific strong storm system moves through the region early next week. The sun 990 millimeter low is effectively tracked towards the British Columbia by Tuesday morning to bring a cold front towards the coast along with steady precipitation. The current frontal system over the eastern mountain west will be continual to bring some rain and the snow showers by Sunday night. Long some gusty winds and elsewhere across the United States and continent the United States a product of a level winter ahead of the Pacific storm system to offer. Well above average temperatures across much of the plains and deep south front Monday. Widespread highs in the eighties are likely when fewer locations in Texas or Oklahoma could reach ninety degrees on Sunday, while well, could it easily set some American highs and dry and weather expected on Monday afternoon after which point some showers and thunderstorms will be possible over the Midwest states and under the cold front. Over the East Coast, very pleasant conditions can be expected by the early part of the week as a surface high pressure covers the water pattern brings some sunny to the Pacific Coast skies and mild temperatures that expect to be normal doing more some scattered showers will be possible from time to time at upper level to move it throughout the region here. Much cool and blustery weather will be along with a few brief showers possible today. Dry but cool weather prevails into the Monday then. Relative mild temperatures are up for Tuesday and Wednesday ahead of a, a bunch of cold front that may bring a brief period of Chicago showers Wednesday into Wednesday evening, but far from washout. But chill weather expected by Thursday and especially into next weekend while there is potential for a storm late Friday into the next weekend, but far from certainty. Clouds of showers on the front, brief 55 45 mile per wind gusts across Northern Connecticut completely fell apart as a temperature to move into the wind out. Otherwise, expect mainly dry weather for the next few hours, but expect the west and northwest winds become gusty beyond the cold front. And this year will have the Least partial sunshine this morning, however, with cold air off, lots of cumulus, strenuous cumulus skies will be developed toward midday. In fact, all bottom counties says 925 millibars and 700 millibars and left rate increased to 8 to 7 Celsius kilobars by 18 day and furthermore, additional short waves will blow through across the region this afternoon. Buffkin has time sections and gate with level of moisture. Deems of the time that a small cyclone of coral, couple of waves, steep black rates and middle level moisture should be sufficient for 8. Fair break rain shots this afternoon, therefore, with a but of guidance and a good low jet pops that would be much cooler today than yesterday, about 10 degrees cooler, especially this afternoon when skies got most kind of perhaps a cloud fire time. And then you a brisk west wind 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusts up to 35 miles per hour, we under the cool conditions here. All right. Let's take a look at the weather notes here. A few showers are sprinkled. Breezy day with some gusty winds and wind could gust between 25 and 35 miles per hour. And I'm predicting that today's high temperature will be about 54 to 60 degrees. While on the map it says 49 to 62 degrees. We're in the region here. So Pakistan skies early becoming mostly kind of by afternoon. Cooler and busty with highs in the 50s here. And... And not west wind gusts up to 25 to 35 miles per hour. A few passive showers this afternoon. Here, about around a 30% chance of a shower here for much of eastern Massachusetts and central Massachusetts and northeastern Connecticut up and over down. There. Okay, seven day forecast goes like this. By right today, scattered showers, but after 2 p.m., increase the clouds with high about 57 degrees west, with about 9 to 14 miles per hour. With gusts high, 31 miles per hour, just make 30%. Tonight, most of the clouds are going to become a most of the clouds low about 39 degrees west, wood about 7 to 10 miles per gust size, 24 miles per hour. Monday, sky got about 58 degrees west, wood about 7 to 10 miles per gust size, 26 miles per hour. Monday night, park clouds got low about 37 degrees west, wood about 6 miles per coming common evening. Tuesday, put the sky about 6 miles degrees south, wood about 3 to 8 miles per hour. Tuesday, most of the clouds got low about 37 degrees. Wednesday, check the shots at 2 p.m., most of the clouds got high about 71 degrees, just patience, 40%. Wednesday, most of the clouds got low about 44 degrees. 
Presently, both sunny podcasts got about three stars, low about 30 degrees. Funny podcasts got about 35 degrees. Why did that? Chet the showers. Both podcasts got low about 39 degrees. And Chet's face is 30%. Hidden for Saturday, Chet the showers. Podcasts got about 49 degrees. Chet's face is 40%. Bears, what a phrase of the day! Yes, sunny day and a little windy and tack. Bear, a few showers of tack. Bear, Jim was about good day with a good positive. I'll see you for 6 o'clock evening report because today I'm going to march it into the Chocolate Halloween bread is a spot! And as a couple of kids could be cured the better for me, and I waved my fellow Nordites as I got that town spirit pride in the, in the town of Northern Nevada. I love my town. I'll see you this evening with a 6 o'clock evening report here. Have a good evening here. Have a good day.